It seems everywhere you look here in Fort Myers, there is destruction. I mean, take a look at this gas station here. You can see it is completely collapsed, and it could be a pretty long time before this area is rebuilt. More than a week after Hurricane Ian ravaged parts of southwestern Florida, crews still out in force. They work 12 hours on and 12 hours off, but at the button, so they have no time off, no days off. We're not quitting. A matter of fact, we're full force ahead. Thousands trying to pick up the pieces and move forward, so many without food, power, and water. This fire station in Fort Myers offering up free showers to those in need. So we have ten, uh, tanker trucks coming in with water. We have these uh, tents here that we were able to, you know, usually, usually use for hazmat calls, and we thought to let's set these up so that people can take a shower. Volunteers also distributing hot meals. For us hearing the stories of um, people who haven't eaten in three days, uh, people who are checking into the emergency room at the hospital for starvation because they haven't eaten since the storm hit. Meanwhile, a big concern in hard hit areas like Pine Island that there may still be people trapped. The island had been completely cut off, but rescuers were able to build a temporary bridge. They were talking about evacuating everyone off the island. The folks didn't want it. They wanted to be in their homes. We did an emergency contract and we did it in three days. So now it's open and they're doing it more. Wednesday, President Biden touring the devastation, pledging more federal assistance and meeting with Governor DeSantis, putting their differences aside to help the people in this region. And officials are also looking into building a temporary bridge for Sanibel Island, but say because it's more complicated, it will take longer. Rena Roy, ABC News, Fort Myers, Florida.